Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. And this episode of the Speak Your Success Podcast is brought to you by Write Your Worth Live Training in Atlanta, Georgia, March 30th and 31st. Dr. Fred Jones and his Publish Me Now team will be hosting a live training where he will be sharing his textbook strategies and secrets for you to take your number one best selling book and build a business. Feel free to visit the link bit.ly forward slash the number two WYW Atlanta. One more time, that link is bit.ly forward slash the number two WYW Atlanta. Once again, write your worth live training in Atlanta. I'll be your co host and I look forward to seeing you. Now, on to today's episode. Hey, hey man, what's going on? Nothing much, boss, just hanging in there. Do you know what this month is? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me. So go ahead. Man, you didn't know this is Women's History Month. Really? That's a thing? Everybody, what's going on? Best-selling author and TEDx speaker Jonathan Jones here for another episode of the Speak Your Success podcast. Today is Tuesday, and it's Takeover Tuesday. And it's only Takeover Tuesday because I was doing a little bit of research. I looked up. I said, I heard it said before that March is Women's History Month. So let me just tell you a little bit about Women's History Month that I've come across through my brief research. In 1987, after being petitioned by the National Women's History Project, Congress passed a public law 100-9, which designates the month of March in 1987 as Women's History Month. Somebody cue the claps, please. Within a few years, thousands of schools and communities began to celebrate Women's History Month. Yes, yes. Many of you all have listened to the podcast and we appreciate it. And you might have heard me speak of my mother many times. I saw my mom as superwoman. I still do to this day. She would be the first one up. She would be the last one to go to sleep. She would work tirelessly through the night. She would fix me and my brother breakfast. She would fix our lunches and she would fix dinner all at the same time before we even would awake in the morning. Women, I want you to be encouraged today because today is your day. This is your month. This is your year. This is your life. And I want to make sure that you all feel appreciated today because you deserve that because women are viewed and women we see sometimes as being virtually indestructible because women play the role of the mother in the tip in typical families where you know the job is bringing in bringing forth unity and structure in the family and then also maintaining the house by you know keeping things clean making sure that everybody's accounted for Also, the mother juggles many various different roles, not only just providing, but nurturing and also filling the role of educators sometimes within the family, making sure that, you know, that the baby gets to study and making sure that the baby is prepared and reading to the child. And yes, sometimes the father does do these things as well. But more times than not, we see the mother being the one who's gentle, being the the mother who is the one loving, the mother who is the one sometimes playing the role of protector as well. Oftentimes, with the statistics that we do know, mothers are put in a position where some days they have to be mother and also they're making an attempt to be a father as well. This is not how this should go. This is not how this should go in society today. So today, I wanted to dedicate this episode, this Takeover Tuesday edition, let's go, to dedicating it to specifically my black women, because you all are queens. You all are goddesses. You all are amazing. And I'm here for it all. So I wrote this poem and I entitled it Dear Black Woman. Dear Black Woman, how are you always so strong? 
Dear black woman, how are you so beautiful as the days are long? Dear black woman, how can you stay so loyal, sometimes even to a fault? Mm, mm, mm. Dear black woman, when do you make time for yourself? Dear black woman, you are so important to me and you have great value just as everyone else. Dear black woman, you are the giver of life. Dear black woman, you are our mothers, you are our aunties, you are our sisters, and you are our wives. Dear black woman, thank you for all of your support and for pushing us to be all that we can be. Dear black woman, never lose sight of your worth and value. Always remember the M and the E. I love you. Sincerely, Jones. Black women, today I want you to walk around with your head held high, with your crown to the sky. I want you to embody all of your greatness. I want you to embody all of your melanin. I want you to embody all of your intellect. I want you to be high on yourself today. I want you to be high on yourself this week. I want you to be high on yourself this month. And from this day forward, I want you to be high on yourself for the rest of your life because you are bold. You are beautiful. You are audacious. You are amazing. You are something that cannot even be fathomed. I can't even try to put words on all of what you represent and all of what you are because I'm grateful for every facet of you that somebody might try to tear you down by for every bit of your passion, every bit of everything of you that you re represent. I love it and I'm here for it all. And also to everybody who might not identify with a black woman, I want to challenge you today to approach a woman in your life who has done something for you or who is just in your life and means something to you. I want you to walk up to them today and let them know I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you and I love you because we need to begin to encourage our women instead of tearing them down. We need to begin to push them forward and motivate them and encourage them and provide them with what they need because they have been providing us with what we needed for years and years and years and they continue to provide they continue to love and they continue to encourage and create unity and help us create structure. And we need to begin to reciprocate that just because that's what love is. Love is not you doing something just to expect something back. But love is you loving for the sake of loving and giving for the sake of giving, putting yourself second, putting yourself behind someone else. So today I want you to encourage a woman. Today I want you to smile at a woman. And today I want you to compliment a woman just so that they know that they're appreciated and because they deserve every single bit of that. Friends, as always, we greatly appreciate you taking the time to tune in to our Speak Your Success podcast. And as we're continuing to drive the Speak Your Success 5K, if you would like to be a sponsor or if you would like to purchase a copy of Process so that we can match that order and donate a copy to a child in your name, please feel free to visit jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash products or feel free to shoot us a DM at Speak Your Success on Instagram or even to Jonathan Jones Speaks on Instagram as well. And I would love to take the time to talk with you, to connect with you and see what we need to do so that we can continue to push the campaign forward. Friends, if this podcast has added value to you, we would like to challenge you to take the time, share the podcast, as well as take the time and leave us a helpful review so we can continue to expand the platform and continue to expand the impact. Once again, friends, continue to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? <laughs>